guys welcome back to my channel i am back in centurion pretoria again this time at a place called buyuk chamlija it is a farm and an eco park so they have a market they have uh, some activities that adults and children can do they have a couple of restaurants but ultimately it's a farm they have pomegranates some cherries that they grow here as well as olives and fig trees and a couple of other things today is actually the olive and fig festival which they have they have a different one depending on what's in season so sometimes they have a pomegranate festival where you can come and you can pick pomegranates for yourself obviously there's a cost to it but it's a really relaxed place it's a little bit out of the city which is nice so um yeah i'm gonna see it for the first time myself i've never been here so come with me as we check out buyuk chamlija <laughs> hope i'm pronouncing it correctly okay it looks like i'm in the right direction okay there's some signage here Okay, let's start on the left. Looks like everything is to the left. So here we go. Fig and Olive Festival. Oh, this is ice cream. It's warm today, so we might come back for that. No. This is pretty. Do you make this? Please. Very pretty. Thank you so much. Welcome. Oh my god. Crochet. Yes. That one is knitted. knitted. This is knitted. Knitted and the hat is crochet. Yes. Yeah. And this. Oh, very as well. good. 200 rands. Thank you. Thank you so much. So all these herbs as well, they grow here on the actual farm. It smells good. Mm. Mint, yeah. So also spices. Hi, what's this? This is Turkish delight. Oh, Turkish delight. You can, taste Can I taste? Mm. We have different types of and pomegranate, mm. 60 rand. 100 grams, is right. Okay. Okay, see. So that's 100 grams. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a fix. Okay, let's see what they have this side. So everything here, like we just mentioned, it's Turkish. It's basically a Turkish place. That's why the restaurant here is also Turkish. And also, by the way, it's halal. Um, so there's no alcohol in the vicinity. You can't bring alcohol or you can't buy alcohol in here. Oh, I think these are soaps. Oh. Mm. Handmade soaps. Very nice. And this one from Turkey. Which ones from Turkey? Oh, these are imported from Turkey. Yeah. Okay. And the other ones, you make them yourself That's here? Me. Okay. And you make them here? Yeah. Okay. The olives. It's all this as well. Produced in South Africa. And this is, what is this? Jam. That one is pigeon chili jam. A jam, yeah. yeah. It's and so fig and chili chutney. Also, we have uh, olive and chili jam. Okay. A different kind of fig and olive. Okay. Also from our farm, fig chutney. Oh, chutney. Yeah. Okay. And whole green fig preserve like this. Oh yes. And raw honey, also from raw our honey. farm. Raw honey. Okay. We have bees on top. Okay. And we just harvest them and we are bottle. And these are like pickled veggies. These. Uh, this, what are these? Yes, this is uh, this one is the carrot. And the uh, cabbage. Cabbage. Get, yeah. Okay. Pickled. pickled yeah. yeah. Looks like it's pickled. Thank you. But he was just explaining to me, just from the soap side, that they are underprivileged children that actually make the soap. So they teach them how to use make the soap using the natural products that they grow on the farm. And then once they've made the soap, they come and sell 
uh, whatever they've made and uh, the money that is made from their products also goes back into their education. So, and then they also teach them how to sell whatever they're making so that it becomes like a full 360 in terms of education, learn how to make, produce and also learn how to market your product. So it's really um, more like a not-for-profit um, organization as well. So really just helping the community around um, uplift themselves. And this gentleman here is making olive oil. Can I just grab a... a Very fresh. So this is the pressing machine? Yes, but uh, only normally this one goes for oil pressing machine, but uh, it, it is pressing machine. Okay. Uh, it is helping for making press. Hmm. Normally also we are making for uh, olive oil, uh, cold press. Okay. Uh, this machine is helping for the, uh, press. Oh, I see. So you just put the, where do the olives go? Yes, we are, we are taking seeds, this one, after I'm putting mince machine. Okay. Mince machine. It's oh, okay. Like a mince. Oh, I'm this is my mother's yes. machine. Yes. It's an I'm old put, school one. Yes. Old style. Yes. yes. I'm putting this one and I'm squeezing it's coming oil. Oh, okay. Oil and water is coming together. Uh, if I put bottle, uh, if, if it wait maybe half hour, one hour, okay. oil is coming on top, water is going down. Okay. Right. You can see like that. Yes, I see that. Yeah. Also, you can smell the dark. The, that's why I thought it there was balsamic vinegar. Yes, because you can so smell dark. also for. Okay. Mm. Yes, yeah. very fresh olive oil. Very fresh, yes. Yes. Very nice. Uh, yeah, Thank you. I want to taste this again, actually. Freshly pressed olive oil. Mm. Oh, so this is a little restaurant. It's like a drinks truck here. And this side, Country Bazaar, authentic farm produce. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, thanks. What do you sell here? Is it all Turkish uh, products? Oh, okay. It's not all fresh products. It's, it's a mixture of things, right? Yeah. Is this where you sell your meat, your halal meat and everything? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Here it is. Oh, I see. Is this all imported, I guess, from Turkey? I suppose you have to know what you're buying here. <laughs> So your customers mostly from Turkey? Yeah, oh. Indians, Africans. Indians Turkish, and Africans, yeah? Uh, Russians, no, different kinds. Russians? Yeah, they come here. Really? Yeah. So we only be on the weekends. During the weekends. During the week it's quiet, yeah. Yeah, it's mostly quiet. Yeah. Because people are busy, you know. Yeah, yeah I understand, yeah. 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 Where's the farm here? Because I know there's some animals and stuff on the farm. Yeah. I must just continue on straight. Oh, okay. All right, let's keep going. Would you like to try our waffle donut dessert? Goodness. Okay, so this is the barn. This is actually an event venue that you can hire out if you want. It's called the barn. Hi, what are you making here? We are making here shawarma wrap here and also the portion side is the basic iskender kebab. Iskender, yeah, okay. And the handmade, the kumpi, the baked potato is side and the baked baklava, oh, okay. the dessert side, the vegetarian side is that side and okay. this side is the chicken, beef and lamb mixture, shish oh. kebab, madonna kebab. Oh, yes, that's a shawarma. We are calling doner. That's the Turkish name? Yes. Oh, okay. So this side is the food section. Baklava, of course. You cannot go anywhere Turkish without any baklava. <laughs> this is like the braai section. What are you making here? This is an Adana kebab. It's a what kebab? Adana kebab. Adana. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, let me go check out the animal section. face hi <laughs> hi <laughs> so alpacas are not indigenous to South Africa they're originally from South America they're similar to llamas and part of the camel uh, family but they are I, I found out that there are some farms in South Africa that actually breed alpacas and you can actually buy them as pets, <laughs> believe it or not. Very cute. I've never seen them live. I've seen them on TV, but this is the first time I actually see a, see a real alpaca. They seem like very mellow animals, which is then understandable that they can be kept as pets. <laughs> Ooh, Angora goats. Hello. Angora goats are bred mainly for their mohair. They're very fluffy. They smell like goats as well. <laughs> Where are you going? And they're doing this typical goat sneeze. <laughs> if you've been around goats or ever lived on a farm or anything like that, you'll know exactly <laughs> that goat sneeze I'm talking about. Here's an interesting fact about goats. They are known to have been the first species to actually be domesticated by man. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that, eh? Oh, ostriches. They're just chilling. Okay, let me get out of this dust. Looks like their bathroom's here. What's this thing here? What animal are you? <laughs> All right, moving on. Looks like a fire pit. Yeah, it says Boma, so it's definitely a fire pit. Oh, they're the camels. Lanky camels. Oh my word. Hi guys! <laughs> no, I don't have anything in my hand. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, enough with the camels. <laughs> It's a beautiful cows. They want food. They are not doing anything for free. <laughs> you have to bring them some snacks. Oh my god. They're so cute. Miniature horses. So can I touch him? Yeah, you can touch that is one. Cupcake. Wait. <laughs> it's his name Cupcake. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's so little. It's very coarse the hair. Here's another one. Oh Shane, he's tied to the tree. What's your name? Blue eyes. He or she. <laughs> That's cute. How many of these miniatures do you have? Uh, we've got only two. Only two. Do do kids ride them? Yes, yes. Is it? Yeah. What's the age restriction? But now it's not allowed to ride him because that uh, leg is not okay. Oh, his leg is not okay. Yes, sir. Is this male or female? This one. Male. Male. Oh, okay. 
That one is female. Oh, the other one was female. Oh, what's what's his name? Charlie. Charlie. Oh, hi, Charlie. Okay, bye. <laughs> How much is it for a ride for the children? Huh? How much is it for a ride? Uh, but it is not allowed to... No, I'm just asking, just when it is allowed. 50, oh, okay. And the age restriction is how, how many years? What you say? Until... How old the child can until be? Until 14 years. 14, oh, okay. All right. 3 to 14. 3 to 14. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They're very cute. Basketball hoop. This looks like something for skateboarding. Not sure. This is the little park that you can come and enjoy. Very nice outdoor area. The children can play. Playing some volleyball over there. Swings. Climbing. There's another ostrich. Oh, some more ostriches. These are big. All right, I see. The Karinja up ahead, it's the unique dome-shaped coffee shop and restaurant. There it is. Hi. Hello. Can I stay inside? Everyone's sitting outside. Okay, I'm more than welcome. Okay. This is cozy. Okay. It's got nooks. <laughs> One big area and two other nooks. Okay, display with these little cute cups. Mm. It's the dome roof. What food do you make here? Here we go. Excuse me, hello. Oh. Where's the, where's the menu, please? Thanks. Oh, this is all Turkish. Okay. Great. The whole, Great, yeah. It's a Turkish organization that owns the whole property. Yes. So all the festival things, all Turkish. So this is the real stuff, eh? <laughs> it's not the commercial stuff. No. And if the prices are very reasonable, eh? We think so. Yeah, I think so too. I know kebabs. I know shawarma, although it's called got, something different. Got down, so it, it, it's tenders and the shawarma. Yes. Yeah, so you've done a kebab, is your shawarma, the, the main meat thing? Yeah, yes. You know, it's tender, it also comes from the same meat. It's tender, yes. Yes. That you can get down at the first one. Okay. And then they got a different variety of baklava and a few other Yes, desserts. I saw that, yes. And I had a taste of Turkish delight as well. Yeah, yeah nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I know that's like a pizza, it's almost like a pizza bread. Is that really similar, so it's yeah. flat bread, okay, and it's got the side folded in, but it's sesame seed. No tomato base. Okay. That's one of the main, the main things. Yeah. Okay. So okay. It's not a pizza, but it's similar to it. It's similar to it. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. No problem. Sorry. So Thank you. No problem. Oh. Very interesting building. Alright folks, that is it. That is Buyuk Chamlija. 
it is a lovely tranquil spot where you can just relax enjoy nature very slow paced and some wonderful turkish gems around here very beautiful charming spot thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again on the next video Thank you.